It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Tool and it's a can of their Thirsty Frontier brewed with Simcoe, Mosaic and Citra Hops. Sounds fantastic at 4.5%. It's a session IPA then. Let's get it out into a glass see what we get. So it's a lovely big, nice big can. Love it, 500ml can. And To be honest, at the beginning of 2016, I had my first big can of craft beer, and that was from Tool. That was a a sour ale. I'm trying to think of the name of it. Boy, me, this smells amazing. Massive head on it. Um, yeah, so throughout the year, especially the second half of the year, I've seen lots and lots of canned craft beer. Not just coming in the 330s, but coming in these lovely, look at this, this is the next one. These big 500 cans. And I think as long as the design work is perfect, you made a massive effort. I don't, I think you can crush that thought of regional. Lots of regional breweries use big cans. Um, regional, international brewers. And it's breaking down that boundary of saying, hey, yes, we can do this. But let's do a bloody good job on the artwork. So this is dissipating quite nicely. The, the head is not as big as it was. Nice levels of carbonation. Hazy beer, four finger white head, slightly off white. Looks good, let's get the aroma. This just smells amazing. Absolutely amazing. Even through this four finger head, I'm picking up a dense, sweet, hoppy aroma. It's like, it smells it smell of candy. Tropical candy. It's great fruity. Mango, kiwi fruit, passion fruit. Orange peel, lemon peel. I'm ready to dive in. Cheers, everyone. My goodness me. That is just, and, and there's the little bit of bitterness on the back end, just to top it all off. Well, it's more than a little bit of bitterness. It's really kind of coming through on the back end now. But it's, I think they were striving. I, I read a little bit about the, the, the beer. I read it on the front. A session IPA with an urge to seek the boundaries of quaffable beers. Boundaries, I mean, they push the boundaries here. This is so quaffable. This is so refreshing and so drinkable. It, it's absolutely remarkable. That is so juicy. Such a juicy, juicy, refreshing, quaffable, nicely carbonated, bitterness on the back end. Flavor-wise, let's talk about the flavors. Yes, there's some passion fruit, some kiwi. There's mango in there. Lovely, that bitterness is fantastic. It's all in balance. There's sweetness to begin with, bitterness on the back end. Orange peel, lemon peel. Oh, it's, it's, it's fab. Absolutely fabulous beer. But for me, what wins it is the soft water and the drinkability. It is incredibly drinkable. I've mentioned that five or six times now. I don't care. The reason why I don't care is because I need to tell you. <laughs> if you've not tried this beer yet, I need to tell you to try it. Just how drinkable, just, just for how drinkable a beer is. What I'm trying to say is I'm trying to get it, get my point across that this is probably one of the most juicy, refreshing, citrus, hoppy session IPAs that I've ever tried. Wonderful. Oh, it's fabulous. I just urge you to go and buy this and try it. Thirsty Frontier. Tool Sessions, imported by the US, or imported to the US by Shelton Brothers. 
unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. I'm going to rate it. Tool, thirsty frontier for me then. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 for me, Low Craft Beer. Absolutely fantastic beer. Sweetness, bitterness on the back end is perfectly balanced. The drinkability, I'll say it one more time, the drinkability is key for this beer. It what It's what makes the beer for me a 10 out of 10. Then of course, all of the hop flavours that come with it. From your Simcoe, what did I call it? Or what did I say? I said Simcoe Citra Mosaic. And it's the perfect, perfect amount of hops. It's just absolutely wonderful stuff. 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.